Sparky Channel Productions. This is a Sparky Channel blast from the past, but it has been modernized with 2020 NEC codes. This video is for educational purposes only and only competent persons should attempt this repair. Hi, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com. Today I'm going to show you how to replace two switches. If you notice this switch right here uh, has no markings on it, whatever. So that means that this is a three-way switch or perhaps it will be a four-way switch. But I know it's a three-way switch because there's one other switch uh, that controls the same light. This here is a single pole switch. It just controls uh, one light by itself. So we're going to be replacing the uh, three-way switch with a Decora Plus three-way switch. Uh, this is a heavy-duty uh, switch of excellent quality. The regular switch I'm going to be replacing with a Decora Plus uh, regular switch. Again, it's a, a heavy-duty uh, excellent quality switch. Because this is a 1950s house, I greatly suspect that there is no ground in here. By code, I'm not allowed to use the metal screws. So I have a Decora Plus screwless wall plate. It goes with these Decora Plus switches. I have turned off the circuit breaker, but I'm going to double check. I'm going to use my Greenlee GT16. And this is uh, an adjustable voltage detector. It will detect from 5 to 1000 volts AC. I like to use this one for a test like this because it will pick the electricity up uh, out here on the outside when the uh, sensitivity is turned up. And so this is telling me that the uh, I definitely have gotten the right circuit breaker and the electricity is off. When working on uh, electrical switches and things like this from houses built in the 1950s you never really know what you're going to find inside. I can see that these are not the, the original 1950 switches. So someone has been working on it and their level of expertise is unknown. So we'll just uh, see what we see when we open it up. Okay, so this is indeed a three-way switch and this is indeed a single pole switch. I am going to do an additional check uh, before I put my hand in there. And this is my Fluke voltage detector. You can tell that it's uh, ready for use because of the uh, flash every three seconds. And it is telling me um, also that the electricity is off. Okay, the two switches are out of the box right now. And you can see this is a, uh, a three-way switch. You got a black terminal, a gold terminal, and another gold terminal. The one we really want to keep track of is the wire that goes to the black terminal. This is called the common screw. Uh, this is the, the line wire. Th this is the one that's hot all the time in the three-way switch system. I'm going to go ahead and mark this line wire that goes to the common black terminal. These are what's called traveler wires, the ones that go to the gold screws. And it does really matter which line goes to which as long as they go to the the two gold terminals of the three-way switch but this one's very important you need to know which one this is so this is the uh, the line wire going to the com common terminal okay these are the three wires that go to the three-way switch this is the one that goes to the black screw that's your line wire goes to the common terminal of the black screw. These two are your traveler wires. They go to the two gold terminals. And this is your single pole switch here. I want you to notice there is no ground in here. That's as I suspected. There is no ground. Let's go to the 2020 NEC code and see what it says about these switches not having a ground available. Here's Article 404.9, Provisions for General Use Snap Switches. So it's about switches, and it's saying at this point that you need to ground your switches. We're going to go down here to exception number one, where no means exist within the snap switch enclosure for connecting to the equipment grounding conductor or where the wiring method does not include or provide grounding conductor a snap switch 
without a connection to an equipment grounding connector shall be permitted for replacement purposes only. A snap switch wired under the provisions of this exception and located within 8 feet vertically or 5 feet horizontally of ground or exposed grounded metal objects shall be provided with a face plate of non-conducting, non-combustible material with non-metallic attachment screws unless the switch mounting strap or yoke is non-metallic or the circuit is protected by a ground fault circuit interrupter. Okay, what they're basically saying in practical terms is if you have a non-grounded switch and it's not protected by a ground fault circuit interrupter and it's close to anything metallic that might be grounded and that would include cold water pipes or just any kind of grounding then you have to have a screwless wall plate okay it says you can use plastic screws but they're no good they strip out the screwless wall plates are quite attractive they're that's a good solution by code we can replace these switches as long as you use a, a plastic wall plate with no metal screws okay so these these two here these two wires here go to the regular single pull switch this white wire is not a neutral wire in old style wiring they were allowed to use white wires as switched hot wires you, they're not you're not allowed to do that anymore but in the back in the day you could so I am going to designate this with black tape which means that it is a switched hot wire okay and that it is not a neutral wire so these two are the ones that go to the single pole switch there is no ground wire so they have nothing to hook to the ground so what I'm going to do is simply tighten it in to uh, reduce any chance of it hitting on something else so now I'm going to take one of the wires and put it right in here like this so you don't want to have any copper showing but you don't want any insulation going underneath the terminal either it's safest that way tighten it down real nice with an excellent connection buy a, a good quality switch okay there okay so there there is our switch right there for a little extra safety I'm going to put a wrap of black electrician's tape around it now I have the Decoro Plus three-way switch and it has a green grounding terminal and what and since there is no ground in this box and I have really have no practical way of getting a ground to this box by the way plaster walls and second story remember this went to the black screw of the old three-way switch right here the black wire went to the black screw whatever wires go into your black screw you mark that is your common wire okay. now I'm gonna cut all these wires off I got a little extra length here I'm gonna cut them all off right about that long right there okay so this remember the one with the red marking goes to the black screw mark which one went to the black screw okay like I did now these two it really doesn't matter just to get you got two gold terminals and one goes to one and one goes to the other okay it was right in there like that
good connection. It was right in there, perfect. Okay, we're wired and ready to go. Now you just gently push these in here, push these wires in the back of the box, push this into place. To install the Leviton screwless wall plate, the first thing you do is separate the subplate. You just put a screwdriver right in here, like this, and you pull this out. Now you need to uh, loosen up these four screws about a half an inch. So this is the subplate. This says grounding clip side. These are your self-grounding clips right here. So this goes down like that. Like that. Now you tighten the mounting screws. So for the three-way switch, you see it turns on and off and when the other three-way switch is on, uh, this is the other way around, off and on. So this three-way switch is working great. And the single pull switch turns the light off and on. So that's how you change out a single pull switch and a three-way switch with no ground in an old house and do it to code. See there's no screws anywhere on the outside here and that is essential to meet today's code. I'll put links in my video description for the Leviton Decora Plus single pole switch and the Leviton Decora three-way switch. And I'll put links for various kinds of screwless wall plates. They make them for single gang boxes, dual gang boxes, and they make them for Decora type switches and regular type switches and I'll put links for different brands so you get an idea what the cost is on the different brands and I'll put a link for the fluke voltage detector I'll put a link for the fluke 117 electrician's meter and I'll put a link for the Klein 8 in 1 1000 volt insulated screwdriver set thanks I hope this video was helpful